After more than a century in the Royal BC Museum, a new hawk totem pole has begun its journey home. For years, officials told the story of how it was sold for $45, while Indigenous people question if it was stolen. Now the pole will be repatriated to Bella Coola. CTV's Binder Sajjan has the story. Yaltua means brightness of the daylight. For this chief of the Newhawk Nation who has the name, it couldn't be more appropriate on this day. I'm happy and sad at the same time. From the roof of the Royal BC Museum emerges a totem pole carved by his great-grandfather. <laughs> For the first time in more than a hundred years, the Newhawk Nation will welcome it back to their lands near Bella Coola. My family's happy. Our ancestors are rejoicing. The road home, a layered and complicated one. In 2019, the chiefs came to the museum to request the artifact back. When that hadn't happened by 2022, the chiefs took another approach. We had to go through the court system to get their attention. And we, we managed to work it out of court. COVID got in the way, but it, 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 there's a lot of uh, zigs and zags to getting us to this point. But this is what reconciliation is all about. Reconciliation, says the chief, also means shedding a light on all the artifacts housed in Canadian museums and away from the people whose history and culture they represent. Why aren't the Canadian government and the museums give those back if they're not using them? Because the spirit's stuck in every one of them. For Chief Snook Yaltwa, that spirit is his great-grandfather, Louis. He's coming home. He's coming home. Before that trip begins, blessings and a gathering to mark the historic moment knowing other totem poles are still in the museum's possession. While the day holds a brightness, the sadness will be there until all culturally significant pieces find their way home. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria.